All right. Now, <clears throat> coming out of pre-practice, we're into practice. We will have an indie period every single day. This is this is not negotiable. Um, we run, and, and, and this is the same philosophy as I had when I was running the, you know, running the spread, you know, wide open stuff. We're heavy indie. You know, this is high school football. You know, our, our job is we have to develop players. We have to make sure our players are fundamentally sound. I'm a big believer in that. You know, plays mean nothing. Schemes mean nothing if you don't have fundamentally sound players. So, you know, that's that's what we need to do. And we spend a lot of time on that more so than we do, you know, um, you know, in team sessions. But um, this training camp thing, you're going to see, we'll see us in a little bit more team and group work and things like that. But because we're kind of installing. But, you know, during the season, <coughs> Mondays, we never go team on Mondays. Monday is all individual work, all cleanup work. So we come out in the season on Monday. You'll see us stay with this indie deal here for maybe about 45 minutes. You know, we'll go through all this. We'll clean stuff up, you know, and get ready to get ready to rock and roll for, for the week. But, you know, how it basically works is the tight ends and the swing men go with the offensive line during indies. We consider them offensive linemen. You know, they don't necessarily love it, but that's the – that's the mentality. You know, if they think they're going to be there to catch a bunch of passes and do things like that in this offense, that's not really the case. They're, they're linemen that get to wear a cooler number. So, you know, they go down with, with our linemen um, and we work all these blocks. So, you know, we go, we go basically in order, you know, the ones that we're going to work every day, everything that is in, that is in bold, we're working every day. So, we already started with the shot and the shot and the drive in the in the pre-practice, but we're gonna go back to that. All right, we're gonna start with that and start with the shot block because that's the basis to everything we're doing. You know, we're gonna work the finish here. So we're gonna work getting the throw at the end, running our feet, you know, running through them and finishing the block. Then we're gonna work our down blocks. To me, a down block is the second most important block in this offense because we have to be able to cancel gaps out. We have to be able to block down, we have to be able to stop penetration. Um, we talked a lot about, you know, through all these videos of the the um, the idea that we want to continue to get positive yards on every play. We don't want to lose yardage that we want everything downhill. That's going to involve your lineman having to make angle blocks, down blocks, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, this is just our terminology. You may call it something different. People call it angle block, call it whatever. We call it a down block. OK, so. You know, some people call them back blocks. And, you know, I've heard them called a bunch of different things. So it's really what your terminology is. But for us, you know, we're going to work those down blocks. All right. So that that's going to be something that's really important to us. We're going to work cut blocks. Cut blocks are a big part of our offense. You know, you've got to be able to do it legally according to the NFHS rules. So we, we spend a lot of time on that. You know, we'll run. We'll look at the cut and scramble. Um, you know, as well, if we don't get the initial cut block, what we do after that, you know, we'll, we'll drill all that and then we will drill the scoop block as well. So all those blocks bolded every single day, we're working individual. We, we do the setup of it and you'll see it when I put the practice film on the setup of it is exactly like it was in pre-practice. We have the, we have the large, um, you know, step over bags. We, we basically hold those up. A lot of our work at practice, most of our work at practice, very little of it is live. You'll see a little bit live on the practice film I'll show you just because it was a training camp practice. But, um, you know, most of the time we're going against bags. Like I said, we're, we're a small school. We want to hit bags, cut bags. Obviously, we're not going to cut our own teammates and, you know, things like that. And then obviously we'll work our trap blocks and then our wrap blocks or pull blocks you know, whatever your terminology is for that. And, and here's the here's the thing. As we're working these blocks, these aren't position specific. So every lineman, every tight end, every swing man is doing all these blocks. Now, we'll, we'll make it a little different for the tight end and swing man. You'll see that on the on the film. They'll work more of their veer or they'll, they'll work more of their downfield, you know, area type blocks. Um, but we will have them do some of these other things as well because you never know. Like I said, we're a small school. I mean, we've had to put tight ends at guards before, and um, it sure makes it a lot easier if, if you know, they know what to do and they know how to down block and they know how to cut block and they know how to shot and drive. If you can do those things, 
you'll be okay. I mean, really, that's that's all you need to be able to be able to shot out and drive block, down block, cut block, scoop block. You can do all those. Um, you know, you, you have a you have an opportunity, I think, to be to be really successful. Um, the mesh drill, we'll we'll look at some film of that for sure. You know, I've run mesh drill for my entire career. Run mesh, we do it every day again. Um, and you and you hear so many, you know, and, and and you wonder, you know, even teams at higher levels and things like that, how much time do they spend on you know, run game mesh, because sometimes it just doesn't, things don't time up well when you look at it and, you know, the fundamentals are, are sloppy, um, but we we stress all of that. So our quarterbacks and backs are together. You know, obviously the coaching points when we're in our mesh drill, our alignment, assignment, the tempo to the ball, you know, the quarterback ball carrier exchange, really selling our fakes, you know, running with low pad level, you'll see we put these PVC shoots out that are really low, you know, and we make them, we made, they're exaggeringly low. I mean, they're really low. We make them run through those, run through those deals. And then, you know, a lot of the individual blocks you see in the offense from like the fullback or the halfback, we'll, we'll, we'll incorporate that in as well, you know, into the mesh where they're getting some, some one-on-one -on -one blocking against bags, um, you know, as well. So <clears throat> this is every day though. So, you know, this slide right here, again, these are everyday drills. You know, if I if I had to say, if somebody had to say, well, what's the secret, you know, to, to the offense or something? I mean, the secret to the offense is how good can you get your guys to do these things every single day? You know, can you, can you continue to improve? Can you, you know, how are you developing players? You know, how are you, how are you developing your guys every single day and getting them better? And, and fundamentally making them stronger and because it's going to be sloppy initially, you know, and, and I've, you know, I've seen other coaches, they want to do a lot of team stuff and all that. And Hey, that's great. But, you know, to me, unless you have a really large coaching staff, I mean, I have a good coaching staff, but I wouldn't say we're a really large coaching staff, um, you know, and we watch film every day before practice. We have a, you know, an hour to 45 minute film session, depending on the day, depending on our lift, depending on what we have going on. But um, I think it's tough to really, you know, coach it up when you're in a lot of team session like that here. When you're in an individual, man, you can coach the heck out of these kids. You know, you can you can really, really instill, you know, your fundamentals, what you want them to do. And I think that's something I'm, you know, we're really proud of that we're able to do in our program. I think we're able to, um, you know, really, uh, you know, we don't get beat on fundamentals. You know, we're, we're, we're pretty sound across the board. So, again, that's something we're, we're pretty proud of.